Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Aisha and today we have my huge, huge <laughs> April empties. So as you guys know, we're moving house on Friday. I think you're seeing this on Tuesday or Wednesday. So we are right in the midst of packing and everything and my empties was getting to the point where they were really getting in the way of our move and things. And obviously it's not something I wanted to pack up and take with me. So I think it's time that we just get on with it. I do have a couple of other things that we probably will finish before we move out, but they will probably either just go in the bin out of ease or if I can find enough space for them to pack with them, I will. But it just depends if the item's worth taking with rubbish with me. Anyway, I will stop going on. So basically all these empties are from April and then this first week of May. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of context text um, on the floor as you guys know we're packing up but I had a little bit of an accident a couple of days ago I fell down some stairs carrying some heavy bags while we were moving I do have a ligament sprain in my ankle so it is really hindering everything going on with the move but also videos and things like I really wanted to do packing videos and organization videos but I just physically can't I just literally sat on the floor and JS had to set everything up for me today so it's not really going to be a possibility maybe when I'm feeling a little bit better when I'm moved into my family's house I will be able to do some some unpacking videos and organization videos but that is also why you're seeing me with absolutely no makeup on I'm still in my jammies my hair is barely brushed it's just how we're, we're coping but I just thought for today while I'm still on rest sit on the floor council's rest I will chat to you guys about my empties and it will give me something to do but anyway we will jump right into it so this crate usually I use my boxes but everything's packed up so this crate has my empties in and this crate has come from my mum's house so we've got a mini from my mum and a large from me I have a couple of home bits I'm gonna try and structure this as much as I can but with things a little bit everywhere it might not work out like that but yeah I will just pick from and we will just try and be as coordinated as possible so start off with these two big empties that I couldn't even fit in the basket so these are things I never tend to talk about but because they both finished up at the same time I just thought it would be great to discuss so these are from the brand Comfort these are my like brick softener, laundry softener, scent, whatever and these are really interesting to me because again it's something to carry scent through so this is my absolute all-time favorite this is the apple blossom from comfort this smells like the most perfect apple laundry scent we all know i love my apple scents it smells like apple blossom breeze from scentsy or like tie-dye from bath and body works I love it. It has top notes of apple, mid of jasmine, and base notes of musk, and I love this scent. It did discontinue or go out of stock for a little while, so I picked this up for the summer last summer. This is Sunset Paradise, which has those top notes of orange, mid notes of melon, and base notes of peach. It was just a really fruity medley for the summer. So, so good. So, yeah, these have both been open for about a year. I've been using the mix and match. Um, more this for my clothes, this more for like bedding and towels and things. So, yeah, these have um, finally been finished up just before the move. So, I'm really happy with that and I would repurchase both. I'm going to try and go as quick as I can. Maybe just go through repurchases and some stuff. Okay, so this is technically a declutter. This is from Sainsbury's. It's the Fig and Mulberry Wax Melt. This stained my warmer. It didn't smell like anything. The wax is really bad quality. Declutter, never would buy those again. <laughs> finished up a clipper, a long lighter. Definitely would repurchase these. I tried to use matches for a little while for like long matches, but this just works so much better. Um, love these. We have some candles. We have this one, which was from Next. It's a Midnight Patchouli and Amber has Happy Birthday on there. This was a really nice bathroom candle. Wouldn't repurchase it. I don't love Patchouli and Amber. Very herby, very kind of sophisticated perfume, but yeah, it was great in the bathroom. Wouldn't repurchase. We have my first Bath & Body Works candle in a three wick that I've ever finished. This is Midnight Blue Citrus, loved this. This one has notes of juicy citrus, fresh spring water, sweet mango. This burned really, really well. A Couple of the wicks blew out fair, so that's why there's kind of some odd shapes going on in there. But yeah, it burned really clean, really well. It's really nice. It was perfect for after we cook something kind of smelly. Um, the citrus really broke through any scent, so it's perfect for the kitchen. Tried it in the bedroom, wasn't quite loving it, but yeah, finish this up and I will pop the label in my scrapbook and then I think I'm going to keep this jar for like bubbles and stuff because I love this electric blue with the gold accent. Okay. Oh, we have a wax melt. This is the Scentsy Johnny Appleseed. I love this. It's my all-time favourite. 
I have a couple of other wax bars that are literally on a cube. So we're going to finish them up before the move. And if I remember so, I'll bring them with me. But yeah, we'll finish that up in the kitchen. One of my absolute favourites. Okay, I think, I think that's all the like smelly stuff for the house. We have some kind of miscellaneous house things here. I have some bathroom wipes, my absolute favourite. I get them from Aldi. They are flushable, love those. We have a toothpaste, Active White, Aquafresh, my all time go to, definitely repurchase. Two mouthwashers, boots every day, total wash mouthwash. We've been trying to find a good cheap mouthwash, it's just not happening. This is probably the best of the own brands we've tried, still don't love it. This is my all time, all -time favourite, keep going back to it, Colgate Black Soft Mint. Love it, especially for someone who's very sensitive to mint flavours, so I love this one. A three pack of Colgate Zigzag Charcoal Toothbrushes here. We went on a little trip and we needed some fresh new toothbrushes for when we got back, so we opened up these for me and Jay, and Jay took one to his mum's as well. I think the rest is kind of more hygiene and beauty stuff. So let's get through Jay's section. So Jay has three deodorants. This was used to be his favourite, the Dove kit. These are these now are now included in that really expensive £6.50 Dove set, so he doesn't repurchase these anymore. He has moved completely to the shore. He also likes the shore non-stop, so yeah, they're going to be his go-to. Jay finished up a Lynx Black. He really, he's really, really rubbish at finishing these up, so we decluttered the rest of his, but he used this up as like a coat and jacket refresher, uh, just to give like everything a nice good smell. He finished up a couple of shower gels, he finished up the Lynx Epic Fresh, Fresh Bruce with tropical pineapple and grapefruit. I really like this one. He really likes this one. Definitely a repurchase. He tried the Nivea Men's Sensitive. He didn't say anything too bad or too good about it, but I think he'll just stick to his links for the time being. And then he also finished up a tea tree skin clearing body wash from the body shop. So what we do with this is we will, he'll use a shower gel a couple of times, say maybe up to about here. We'll then pop some of this inside his usual shower gel and give it a good mix up. It's just really good for after the gym. Or oh, after, like, you're a little bit, like, warm and hot. It's really good for back knee or any kind of body acne. Jake gets, like, a couple of spots. I wouldn't say that he has back knee or anything. But just after you've done a really intense workout, like, the gym and, like, your back has that kind of intense heat and things, it's really good to refresh with something like this in small doses. If you find that you have complete back knee or really um, excessive parts of body acne, you could just use this on its own. We'll repurchase that for Jay. To finish up a Tresemme hairspray, well, we both kind of use this, but Jay prefers hairspray over wax or anything. This was really good, the extra hold for, um, but our favourite is the got to be, but it's just a bit expensive at the moment. Okay, I have some hair care items. I have a couple more that are nearly finished up in the shower, but like I said, they may or may not work their way into an empties at one point. Um, we have Jay's refillable Head and Shoulders Clean Classic. This is the pouch. We just keep a bottle of his and we just refill it with the pouch. This is 480 ml. It works out cheaper. And also the plastic is great as well. Uh, less plastic, so that's great. I finished up a mini Elvive Extraordinary Oil. I've just taken this on a couple of trips with me. I love this oil uh, for after my hair wash. Finished up my tried and true Neutrogena Tea Gel Shampoo. You guys probably know by now I have psoriasis and this is the only thing that works. In conjunction with the Body Shop Ginger Shampoo, highly recommend it for any scalp sufferers out there. Oh, I'm getting cramp in my good leg. <laughs> okay. You can see some hand soap. So we have the White Balm Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast. We finished this up in the bathroom with notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries and juicy tangerine. I loved this. Oh, it's so, so good. It's fresh and fruity, really great for spring. I also use the champagne toast spray while we were in Florida, so it gives me, like, holiday memory vibes. I just really enjoyed this. and must definitely, definitely repurchase it. Super, super good. And then it looks like Mum finished up the couple. Mum finished up the Japanese cherry blossom. This has notes of cherry blossom, Asian pear, and sandalwood. This is just really perfumey. Really kind of feminine. Like really spa-like, which is really fresh, clean, floral. That's a really nice one. One of my all-time favourites that I had gifted to mum to try is Crisp Morning Air. This one has notes of fresh pine, juniper and juicy pear. Mum never complains about any of the soaps I ever give her. But that's definitely one of my favourites for sure. She also finished up this from the brand Balia from DM. We picked this up while we were in Berlin in Germany. It was in the Be Happy. Unfortunately, I can't tell you any notes or anything about it because it's all in German. But I think she just really liked the sweet packaging for spring. 
It's just a really spa like perfumey uh, scent, so yeah, that was just a one off try. We both have some skincare items, so let's dig those out. Okay, so Mum finished up two peels. This one was Mum's, this one was Nan's. These are the Body Shop Liquid Peels. They are dry exfoliators, they are brilliant for sensitive skin, they don't cause micro tears. They are perfect, you can use them all over the body, they're really great on dry elbows and feet, but yeah, specifically Mum and Nan used these on their face and feet, I think. Mum used up the Drops of Light, which is a vitamin C blend, and then the Drops of Youth, which is now the Edelweiss, and they have both repurchased both of these. Big love in my family's household. My mum finished up her cleanser and toner in the vitamin E. This has gone through a gorgeous repackage, so I did buy her the new repackaged version. She loves this, it's great for hydration, a perfect cream cleanser and a nice toner. Mum also finished up her day cream, which was, was the roots of strength. It has been discontinued, so she will have to find an alternative, but this was great for older skin, for firming and toning, but it's a discontinued rain from the body shop. Sister finished up the seaweed face wash. This is her go-to, she does suffer with rosacea and also she did go through a stage of having some acne when we were all wearing masks in the lockdown and things and she does suffer with spots so this is perfect for oil control but not stripping the skin too much. Unfinished up, another discontinued favourite, the Drops of Youth Foam Wash. Like I said, it has been discontinued. It was a really, really great salicylic hyaluronic acid blend, but um, there is a replacement in just a gentle gel wash. So in the new Edelweiss range, big love for this one. Um, also finished up a mini Body Shop British Rose Mask. She will always repurchase this. It's great for firming and coolant. Just really spa-like, smells like rose. And she definitely has a full size of this one. Big love, again, lots of favourites. We have the Vitamin E Eye Cream. Again, this one's been repackaged. Mum loves this one, she'll definitely repurchase it. It's a really great night eye cream. Okay, then I have all of my tried and true favourites. The kind of effort for this move was just to finish up anything we had open because it's just less to move with. It means we can open fresh when we move and that was just what I was aiming to do. So I finished up pretty much one of all of our favourites. So. Jay finished up the Himalayan Charcoal Clarifying Night Peel. I say finished up, hmm, this is going to have to be a partial declutter. He got to about just half, over halfway with this and then I noticed that it was expiring and the texture had gone really funny. So we'll just dump this out and recycle it. I did buy him a new one. He used this across his nose and chin and T-zone just for kind of pore control and things. So yeah, technically kind of half a declutter but he got through as much as he could before the texture really turned. I have my Drops of Youth. Essence Lotion, again, another discontinued item. I loved this for a daytime kind of tone. I use it as a cleanse tone step. Loved this, will repurchase when they reformulate it. Then I shot my favorite face wash from Nivea. This is just the, the refreshing face wash, always repurchase. Oh, we also finished off the Nivea Soft Hand Face and Body Cream. I use this for my face in the night, finished that up. Also finished up the day cream version, which is the Nivea Normal Day Cream with SPF 15. Finished that up. Love it all. These are all repurchased, new, ready for us to move with. Finished up a tea tree anti-perfection anti, anti daily solution. We use this for anything we need, a kind of antibacterial on cuts, plasters, greasers, spots, just anything for antibacterial but also for oil control for spots. Love this, definitely a repurchase. Finished up a, another little travel size Nivea Soft. Also finished up a chamomile balm, my absolute favourite OG from the body shop. It is a cleansing balm to remove your makeup. It is incredible, everyone needs to try this at least once in their life. I have repurchased the new Spring Limited Edition because it's super, super cute. I think what we have left is just all body care, really. I have a makeup, I have a foundation from Mom. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation. It uh, looks like this expired in December, so I think she used up as much as she can and then decluttered it. I have some press-on nails that I tried, easy to apply pre-glued nails. These were awful, these were shocking, didn't even last the flight. As soon as I washed my hands, they came off. The colours were really cute, but wouldn't repurchase. I have a couple of deodorants. This is the Go Dove Go Fresh Pomegranate and Lime Verbena. I also have the Mini, which is in German. I got it in Berlin. And then I have the Mini Passion Fruit and Lemongrass. So I talked to you guys about these, about the price changes and everything. Are they now £6.50, £4.50? Like they're just not cheap. I found a load in my local home bargains for one ninety nine in this style, not the new style. So we bought them all. Me and Millie went in, we bought them all. Her favourite is the passion fruit, but I like them all. So we spent about £30 on them. But we just stocked up. We've now got about 15 14 15 That will last us until we can find an alternative. 
I know it sounds I know it sounds really really crazy to do that, but when you find something you love and you know it works, and it's now six pound fifty in the shop next door, compared to one ninety nine in the home bargains, like it's literally six pound fifty in the superdrug next door and one pound ninety nine in the home bargains, we stocked up. So happy about that. Just found a rogue home item. This is the Fabulosa Raspberry and Fangipani. Concentrate, didn't like this scent. It was too floral, wouldn't repurchase. I prefer more fruity or clean scents. Okay, so mum finished up for some perfume. She finished up the lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is her go-to fragrance. This is the 100ml in the Eau de Parfum. Yeah, we always repurchase this, she loves it. She also finished up an Eau de Parfum sample in Misty Or. She didn't mention anything about it, so probably, I'm guessing, not a purchase for her. She also finished up the Perfect Zen by Soap and Glory, which is a rollable fragrance for sleep. Mum's really been getting into her lavender and sleep routine items. She really enjoyed this, and I think she would repurchase it. She also finished up the Soap and Glory Magnet. Magnificoco body wash. Super cute. Again, she loves anything soap and glory, so probably would repurchase. Also finished up the Cola Fruity Hydrating Hand Cream. This is like an orange, like, oh yeah, uh, Cola Fruity, Fruity and Exotic blend of macadamia oil and marshmallow root extract. It doesn't actually say what the scent is. I guess it's just citrus, but yeah, she loves that one. Talking of hand creams, they also finished up a mango hand balm from the body shop. An almond milk hand balm from the body shop. And then this kind of old style, the British Rose 100ml hand cream. Yeah, they, all my family love the body shop hand creams. They are definitely a repurchase. Mum also finished up a berry bath blend from the body shop. Love these. These smell like pink starburst. Incredible. Definitely a repurchase. Also the Rezo Rebel Rose Blood Shower Gel from the body shop. This smells like Turkish Delight. I got her this for Mother's Day or a birthday. Loved this. Definitely repurchased. I think she's already repurchased the whole set. Okay, let's get down to my hygiene items. I have a Femme Fresh Intimate Skin, Intimate Skin Care Daily Wash with Aloe Vera and Canadula Extracts. Would we'll definitely repurchase. This is the best sensitive wash that I've tried so far. Got another one at the minute, which is the white bottle. Don't love it as much, so we'll go back to repurchasing these orange ones. I have a couple of shower gels. I have my Body Shop Refillable Shea Shower Gel. I did drop this, unfortunately, so we were on a mission to finish it up. We finished it up as body wash, also a bit as, also a bit as hand wash. I just really need to get it done because of the hole. It was starting to crust up a little bit. I'll recycle this and purchase myself a new refillable one. But yeah, I love these. They save you money, you get more. Love these. You, um, you cannot beat the refill. If you've got a refill station in your local body shop, go check it out. Finish up the Dove Revive and Pomegranate and Hibiscus Tea. Wow, this is a little while ago. This was in my project use it up. I really enjoyed this scent. It's so, so good. So springy. So fresh. Enjoyed that. With that, I finished up the Exfoliating Body Scrub in Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter. This had more of a Shea warm confidence scent to it, so it made it a little bit less springy and fresh. But still, so, so good. And these worked really nice together. I also finished up the Mango Shower Gel from the Body Shop. Love this, always repurchase it. It's just oh, fresh, exotic, tropical uh, mango scent. With that, I finished up the Satsuma Energizing Body Polish. This is an absolute throwback. We discontinued it about two, three years ago. Loved it. Treasured every single little last drop of it. They need to bring this back. Finished up the Mini Mango Body Butter to go with that routine. Love this again. Oh, these new formulas are incredible. Finished up two of the old Shea. I was just using this as foot cream. I love the Shea, but these were starting to smell a little bit funky, so just used those up. Finished up this shower gel from Soap and Glory. This is the Peach Please Body Wash. I also have the lotion to this, which literally is so close to being used up, but oh, I need to get this video done. Love this. It's kind of like... A peach and shea scent like I get it I get like a cozy scent from it it does say that it's peach blossom and soft moss so yeah maybe it's not like a perfumey fragrance you know really enjoyed it would be purchased but not anytime soon I also finished up this mini pink grapefruit shower gel from the body shop we took this to our little weekend away and used it as hand wash in one of the bathrooms I finished up two pocket bags one in frosted cranberry love this glad I've got backups and life is sweet pink bubble gum love this wish I had backups then I finished up three fragrance mists. I finished up Velvet Petals. This has Lush Blooms, Almond Glaze, Made You Blush. Wouldn't repurchase. Not one of my favourites. One of my absolute favourites. Um, it looks like it's got a bit left. I'll finish this up today though. Love Spell, Cherry Blossom, Fresh Peach, Impossible to Resist. My new signature sit fragrance. I got so, so many compliments. I love it so much. And then the Body Shop Kindness and Pears. I use this as a room spray. Really fresh. I know it's from a winter line, but... It's springy to me. Proper fresh white pears. Love this. 
wow wow okay we are done that was huge that was crazy there's so much mess surrounding me right now like i said i still have quite a few things around the house that are probably going to finish up before we move but i need to i wanted to get this video filmed also going to film a project use up before we move thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed i appreciate it mega long extended version of empties so like i said that was my april into may empties along with my families and this will be my last empties it's going to be my last empties because my empties are now going to be what i use up with my family at their house like yes my family give me their empties to talk about but majority of them are mine and then them as a household we're now going to be a collective yeah i will still use up my own items i will still have my project user up but i'm going to be living with them products used up they will also be using i'm sure if i put a shower gel in the shower that someone else is going to use it if i put a hand wash someone else is going to use it so it is my last empties on my own for a little while don't know about jay like i say we're going to be living apart so i don't know if he might even just chuck his empties my way but yeah it's it's gonna be new it's gonna be a collective it's gonna be our family household empties which i haven't lived at home for four years now so it's gonna be a little crazy but yeah we'll just see how it goes so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye